Hello and welcome back to my Fallout 4 experience. So I've loaded the DLC Far Harbor. Right, so all I have to do now, I've got Nick. All I have to do now is dial into the radio and Setting this uh, to repeat. take it from there. Right, let's get this party started. This is Ellie Perkins from Valentine's Detective Agency with a message for Nick's partner. We've got a new case and it sounds urgent. Stop by the office, I'll be waiting. So, without a moment to lose, I'm at Valentine's Detective Agency. Let's go and find out what this uh, is all about. I'm glad you're here. We got a new case while you and Nick were out. Ready to put on the detective hat? Tell me more. Our client is a fisherman who lives on the edge of the Commonwealth, Kenji Nakano. Nakano? Huh. That name takes me back. Hmm. My memory's a little fuzzy on the details, though. Maybe if you bothered writing things down, Nick. Can't do that. Wouldn't want to put you out of a job. Huh. I'll remember that the next time you need me to console a hysterical client. Mr. Nakano didn't leave many details. Said he'd go over everything when you meet him. But if you want my guess, missing person case. Guy had a worried look a mile long. I'll go check it out. Thanks, Ellie. The Nakano residence is up in the northeast, near the coast. A small fishing house. He said that he and his wife will be waiting for you. It's a long walk. <laughs> That's how the hard cases always start. Now, as always with these missions, uh, you'll be starting to do a mission and then you'll have to defend a settlement and that's what's happening next. So I'm going to go and defend the settlement and I'll be right back. Okay, so that's the settlement defended. Well, I've got one uh, point. I'm going to use it in sneak so I don't longer trigger enemy mines. But I'm thinking, because I'm going to Far Harbour, they have all kinds of things over there, like bear traps and all kinds of stuff. Well, cow frogs, I'm not sure if it'll affect cow frogs, but that's what I'm going for. Right. Right, that's the save done. Let's get over to the house and initiate the conversations with Mr. and Mrs. Nakano. Okay, so we've reached the house, and in the house are a number of holotapes. I uh, hope you don't mind. We let ourselves in. Nick! Thank God! You need to get to work right away. She could be hurt. She could be... Whoa, whoa, slow down. Uh, Kenji, was it? Why did you go over the details with me and my partner here? You brought a partner? Good. The more eyes, the better. So, what's the story with you and Nick? Nick didn't tell you? Ran with him on one of his cases a few years back, searching for some sort of lost heirloom. He needed a boat. Things didn't end well. We were double-crossed by the client once we had what he was looking for. I still have some lead lodged into my hip. Ah, uh, right. Yeah, it's starting to come back to me. Sorry, things ended sour. We got out. That's all that mattered. And now you can return the favor by finding my daughter. Yep, that's me. Lowly partner. I don't even get real business cards. Uh, right. Getting back to my daughter. It all started with this damn radio. Our daughter Kasumi likes to fix things. The radio was her latest project. Until she made contact with some kidnapper who lured her away from us. Or maybe she left on her own. She's not a child anymore. Our daughter is 19. She knows how to survive, and she's capable. I... think maybe she left because she wanted her own life. No. She would have told us where she was going. She would have said something. I know my daughter is in danger. I can feel it. Find her, please. Do you have any idea where she could have gone? We know she took one of the boats, but that's all. She could be anywhere. We'll find her. Don't you worry. Thank you. Her room is upstairs, if that helps. And if you had any more questions about her, just ask. Don't worry, Kenji. We'll get to the bottom of this. Just sit tight. Okay, so we searched the house now for the holotapes, and we listened to the holotapes. Uh, well, you can do it in either way. You can go upstairs. I'm going upstairs. Let's go some holotapes. Oh, there's one there. Project log? Lamp. Yep, it's a lamp. 
Filament plus power equals light. I swear, sometimes I think my parents break these things just to keep me busy. Looks like this is Kasumi's room. Let's see if she left any clues about where she went. Project log? Radio. Correction? Working radio. I'll finally get some news outside this house. My handle is going to be... Let's go with... Ohm's Law. That should confuse the creeps. And if someone actually gets the reference, then we'll at least have circuitry in common. Project log, dreams. Recording what I can remember when I wake up. I keep having the same one. I'm in a white room. People are talking about me like I'm not there, or maybe they just don't care. And then there's this, I don't know, jolt, like a spark of electricity to the back of my head, and then everyone turns to look at me. God, I hope I don't have it again tonight. Let's keep looking. Need to figure out what Kasumi's story was, why she left. Hey. Something I can do? Your thoughts? See if you can find any of Kasumi's personal effects. Anything to give us a clue to where she went. Oh, nothing. Got it. Okay, so there's a number of outhouses outside. There's a boathouse. There's definitely a holotape in there. And also, there's another place, um, a grave. And there's a holotape there. And there is holotapes around the place. And that's what we're going to do. Find them and listen to them. There's one in the kitchen and one there, too. Um, hello? Testing? <clears throat> Project log. Holotape player. Managed to strip out the parts from this thing and make something that's easier to move around. Granddad always said you need to make a record when you start something. You know, in case you have to go back to it. So, I guess I'm going to start doing that. Maybe I should start with an inventory of all the parts I found? Kasumi! Your father needs help with the boat! I'll be right there. Oh, damn. Was I recording that? Ugh. Project log. Kitchen mixer. The circuits are still good, but all the mechanical parts are rusted through. <sighs> Maybe I can... All right, everyone. I'll be back in a few days. Was there anything else we needed from the city? Wait, you're going now? No! Wait, Dad, I could come with you. I... It is better if I go alone, Kasumi. Do not worry. I have your list. You, you don't know what half that list is, Dad. I can help you. Really, I'll be... I said no. I'm sorry. You're safe here, okay? Just stay put for me. Uh, okay. Nothing but I static. I know whoever Kasumi was you talking too, to wouldn't be taking calls once she took off. Maybe there's something else that can help us. Mrs. Nakano. I suppose you have questions about my daughter. You and your husband don't seem to agree about why your daughter left. We both want to find her. The world out there isn't a place where you want to be alone. But Kenji still sees her swaddled in diapers. He doesn't see a young woman with her own decisions to make. Maybe because it's more frightening. She wasn't tricked into leaving without telling us. That was her choice. She didn't want us to follow. Why? I'd like to know more about Kasumi. Might shine a light on where she's gone. My daughter is strong, focused, careful. That's how I know she's still alive. But why would she leave without telling us? Maybe we... No, never mind. I don't want to waste your time. Every detail is important, Mrs. Nakano. Don't hold back. It's just that we've been fighting a lot more. All of us. 
Ever since Kasumi's grandfather passed away, he was the only one that could really talk to her. Kenji and I don't understand machines, but those two could work together for hours. She started staying in her grandfather's boathouse late into the night. I thought she was just trying to cope with the loss, but now I wonder what she was up to. Nothing else right now. Okay, so that's given us a clear line towards the boathouse, which I'll go to right now, and then to the grave. in that safe. Project log? Um, myself. I never really thought about who or what I am, but God, where do I start? The radio. I was right about the range. I managed to get a signal, a strong signal from up north. There's a group of people up there. They say they're all synths. Synthetic people. Made by the Institute. They are trying to build a place for their kind. Where they can be themselves and be accepted for what they are alongside human beings. It sounds wonderful, but then they started asking about me and some questions came up. Questions I don't have answers to. I mean, I've always felt off, like I'm not really supposed to be here, but then there are things in my childhood I can't remember, and I've been having strange dreams. I... I'm going to go to meet these synths. I... I have to know the truth about myself. They've told me to sail up north to a town called Far Harbor. I can make my way to them from there. And now to the grave, which you'd only find if you search the entire area. Granddad, I know you can't hear this, but I can't think of a better way Let's to say goodbye. You taught me so much, and I won't forget any of it. I'm sorry that we'll never be able to fix up the old clunker we've got sitting in the boathouse. Wherever you are, I, I hope you're at peace. And now to break the news that Kasumi thinks that she's a synth. Excuse me, Mr. Nakano. Have you finished your investigation? Did you find anything? I think I know where Kasumi went. A place called Far Harbor? She went that far up north? God, that explains why she took the boat. There's no time to waste. You have to go after her. Wait, did you find out why she left, Detective? Who she was speaking to? What does it matter? Because I know my daughter, and if she didn't tell us where she went, then she had a reason. Don't you want to know if she wants to be found? <sighs> You're right, Detective. Did you find any clue to why Kasumi left home? I need to ask you an important question. Are you sure your daughter's human? What kind of question is that? Why are you asking? Your daughter made contact with a group of synths. She thinks she's one of them. What? That's, that's crazy. She's not a synth. She's our daughter. We raised her. I, I gave birth to her. She's flesh and blood, not a synthetic. Maybe your daughter is just confused, having an identity crisis. Oh God, does she even think we're still her parents? This is what I was afraid of. Someone twisting my daughter's mind. You have to get to Far Harbor. Take my ship on the dock. 
It has a guidance system, a final gift from my father, and it's built for distance. A magic boat ride? Will there be sea monsters? Uh, while I know the seas aren't exactly safe, I am confident that boat can get you there unharmed. At least I hope. I know you haven't asked for payment, and we can't offer much, but here, please take it. I insist. For expenses, if nothing else. I know my partner here can be a little glib, but we won't rest until we get to the bottom of this. You two have my word. Fine, Kasumi. Please. Okay, so our next stop is the railroad. I'm not going to tell the Brotherhood, otherwise I don't want Brotherhood uh, flying around Far Harbour. I might want to leave a dance out there somewhere. Right, let's get down to the railroad and sort that part of the mission quest. Now, a quick bit of advice if you go to the railroad, do not go to see Pam and do not take a mission from the runner, the drummer boy. Otherwise, it will confuse the mission. In ways that can't really be defined, but it will muck up the mission... Uh, there would, something will happen and you won't be able to go back and there'll be a problem and then you'll have to start again from a save. Anyway, that's been my experience. So when I'm doing Far Harbour, the initiation of Far Harbour, I do not take any other missions apart from defending the settlements. One more hour until my shift ends. Hey there, you're Whisper, aren't you? I've been looking for you. Name's Boxer. Boss called me in on account of some rumours making their way through the Commonwealth. There's word that there's some kind of colony of synths way up the coast, all on their own. You heard anything like that? Yeah. There's a girl named Kasumi Nakano. She disappeared up north. Sounds like she heard the same stories and thinks she's a synth. The name doesn't ring a bell. If she is a synth, doesn't sound like we ever helped her. But I guess those stories really are getting around, huh? I'm gonna keep my ear to the ground. You do the same. If you get anything concrete, let me know, okay? Okay, so that sort of confirms that the railroad hasn't helped her, so therefore she didn't escape from the Institute, and so therefore she's a human.